Hi, it's Mr. Omar here. I'm going to talk to you about how to work out the area of a circle. So, here is, I'm just checking I'm still on camera, there is my circle. The area across the fattest point of it is called the diameter, represented by a capital D. You could work this out if you had a paper circle by folding it in half, and if it's exactly in half, then that's your line across the middle. Or if you had something you couldn't fold, like a wooden disc, you could run your ruler down until you got the maximum measurement. So that's your diameter. Now, half of your diameter is also called your radius, which is represented by a small r, and that's important to know too. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to work out how, what the area is of this circle. This is all this video is about. So, there is an equation. Area, capital A, equals pi r squared. So pi, which is a very special number, sometimes simplified to 3.14 times r times itself. So, for example, um, so a equals pi, and let's say that the distance from here to here is five centimeters. So, it's five centimeters squared, so a equals pi times 25. So, what I do is I work out what 5 times 20, uh, pi times 25 is. Now I actually happen to have a sheet that will tell me this, my, um, my pi cheat sheet. Well, you could make one of these yourself or you could use a calculator. So that is A in fact equals 78.54 centimetres. So that's exactly how I do that. Now what I want to do is show you a very neat trick. So I'm just going to rub this out. I'm going to leave that formula because I need it. So, here I have half of a circle, and I know that the radius is still 5. And in fact, which will mean this line across the bottom is D is 10. Because if that's 5, that must be 10. So, what I'm going to do is I only want to have half of that amount. Now, the, you don't even have to look this up. You just know I need half the amount that that will calculate. So, I'll just divide it by 2. So I didn't have to look up in a book that this is a formula for this. I just know that that would give me the whole circle. So dividing it by two will give me half the circle. So just to unpack that for you, a equals pi times 25 divided by two. I look up my cheat sheet again. It says he's staring into the camera. 25, so you'll recognize this answer. a equals 78, Point, where is it? 5, 4, divided by 2. Now, so divided by 2, so A equals, now what I'm going to do is half of 2 is, half of 54 is 27, so it's 0.27. Half of 78, uh, let's see, half of 80 would be 40, so it must be 39. So. My answer is 39.27 centimetres squared. So all I've done is I've taken this recipe for the whole circle and I have done it for half of the circle. Now what I want to show you is that this is a very simple method so that if I had a quarter of a circle up here, I would just calculate the whole circle and divide it by four. And, you know, I'm not going to do the maths on that, but that's all you do. You just say, I only need a quarter of that area. If I want one seventh of the circle, you know, whatever it throws at you, one just divide it into seven parts. If somebody's being really tricky and says, oh, I need three sevenths, this is easy. I divide it into seven parts and then I times it by three because I've found one seventh and I just have three of them. So this simple little formula here can let you know any old proportion of a circle. So I hope that's useful to you um, and I'll be back soon.